we're trying to find the index of refraction of this block and the time interval to travel if we have this light ray that passes through it. And by looking at this particular information, we could see, okay, we have this angle. So if these are the normals, then we would also be able to figure out this angle from this information. We call it angle A. So let's go ahead and set up that uh, equation. It would be something like N from the air times the sine of the air would be equal to um, the N of the block and then times the sine of the angle there. And so now we could just cross that one out because it's just one and we'll have sine of 50 equals N times the sine of this angle, which we don't really know. From here, let's just consider that this could become sort of a rectangular box here. And if we know this angle, then we should also know this angle, that would be A. But even if we know A, we really care about this angle. The only way we can calculate that is uh, by taking our 90 minus A. So technically this would be 90 minus A. So now with that information, we might be able to calculate uh, this particular thing here. So if we set up that equation, it'd be something like n, and then we would have sine of 90 minus a would be equal to uh, n of air, and then times the sine of 77. This is just the one. Um, we're close here. We were given this hint that um, sine of 90 minus some kind of uh, angle there would be equal to the cosine of that angle. And so we could actually replace that in here and say n cosine a equals the sine of 77. And now there's something interesting we could see here because we have the sine and the cosine. And so if we were to divide these two equations by each other, sine of 77 equals n cosine of a, then these n's will cancel, but we're left with the tangent of a on this side. And so we could solve for that. So let's take uh, sine of 50 divided by the sine of 77, and let's take the arc tangent. So that gives us the angle A. A is equal to 38.174. With this information, we should be able to plug it back into any one of these equations. So we'll just do it with this one here. So uh, N will be equal to sine of 77 over cosine of that angle, 38.174. So we could just go ahead and uh, solve for that. So uh, that would be the sine of 77 divided by the cosine of the angle we found. And so we can see that n would be equal to 1.24. Now let's see if we can figure out the time interval that it would take to travel this distance. I'll call it kind of distance h. Um, we're going to want to have the velocity of the medium. And in order to find that, we would take the speed of light and divide it by the n that we have. So we could take 3 e to the 8 divided by our answer, and we get this pretty fast velocity here. So we could say the v in the medium is 2420440383.3. This is meters per second. Now let's see if we can find h. So if we know this angle a, that would be this one here. We could take the uh, opposite over the hypotenuse. So the sine of 38.174 and equal to the 0 0.5 meters there over the h. And so we kind of solve for h. So let's take 0 0.5 and we'll divide that by the sine of 38.174. And we could see that h would be equal to 0 0.80899. This is in meters. So this means that we can uh, basically divide these two things. Remember that distance equals velocity times time. And if we want to find the time, let's just divide that by the velocity. So we'll take our distance, divide it by this velocity we found, 2, 4, 2, 0, 4, 4. And essentially we get that the time it took was 3.34 nanoseconds. Interesting. 